Also, I just want to be clear and transparent that that I'm not having these full transcendental psychedelic full body orgasms every time I have sex. Um, sometimes when I have sex, it's just a very pleasure f- pleasure filled experience. And I can have orgasmic type experiences, but I'm not having the you know like the full on psychedelic thing happen every time I have sex. Mm. It's my 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 directive or my goal in sex has shifted from when I was younger. It used to be ejaculation only. Now it's pleasure and connection and energy. And so if I happen to have one of these cosmic orgasms, like that's beautiful and that's awesome. And it's not necessarily my end goal. Like I'm not going into sex thinking, Ooh, I'm going to have the cosmic orgasm. You know, I'm going into sex thinking like, wow, I am a either. I'm so horny and turned on by you and I want to make love I would be like and I want this experience to be really connective and awesome and beautiful and without going to this goal and because with that goal oriented mindset it, it sort of shapes the way sex progresses and without that there's a lot more openness for ebb and flow and creativity um, that I have experienced right on man and and that's that's why you're on the pod because that creation of a just an open, grounded, realistic expectation on the practice is something that's necessary to make this sustainable. Mm-hmm. Let's let's touch back um, just on there were two things I wanted to hit, um, just to hit so we don't let everyone hanging. Um, can you just explain what edging is, and yes. could you just give a very brief um, touch touching a base of how you know the where edging can be done? You know, you know, just like in a, in a way that's ineffective versus effective. Yeah, yeah. So. Real quick, edging is this practice of, if you think of sexual arousal and ejaculation on a scale of one or zero to 100, and 95 is the point of no return, and in between 95 and 100 is your ejaculatory orgasm, um, edging is the process of getting your sexual response system up to 92, 93, 94, like that point just before ejaculation, and then pressing pause and then doing some breathing and coming back down to maybe like 50%, 70%, somewhere on that scale. And the idea is to practice um, reaching that point and to build your capacity to get to those higher states of pleasure and come back down. And for Mm. that, it can be very useful. A big pitfall though is, and a big problem with this whole edging practice that's not often talked about is rushing to edge. And, and seeing that area of 90 to 94% as pleasure versus seeing that everywhere else on that scale is pleasurable too. Mm-hmm. And so one problem that I ran into a bit ago when I was doing a lot of this edging practice, I would notice that when I would self-pleasure, when I would masturbate, I would rush right up to my edge because that's where I experienced the most, quote unquote, the most sexual pleasure. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, I would get to that edge in like a minute and a half usually or less um, because that's what I was going for. And what that was doing was training my sexual response system to go from non-erection to almost ejaculation in a minute and a half. And Mm -hmm. that translates into every sexual experience you could have from there. So like, sure enough, after doing a lot of the edging practice, I thought, Oh, I'm getting really good at going up and coming back down. Like when I got into the sexual experience, it was like, Whoa, a minute in, Holy shit, back off. (laughs) You Mm -hmm. know? Um, so that's, that's a, that's a danger area. And I would say, be very aware of that and spend more time in the lower ranges versus just edge, edge, edge over and over and over again.